right, so we are going to move on to Dizzy 8's Obito song, Lost Control. This is featuring Fable and Mix Williams. Interesting. I'm excited about this. I'm very excited about this. The uh, Obito song that Fable put out that had Dizzy on it was awesome. Freaking awesome. As was the Kakashi song. So I'm pretty excited to hear what this is going to be like. So let's not waste time, guys. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Is it going to? Okay. All right. Here we go. How are you not? Oh, come on. Press play. There we go. Okay. This is 6-8, for sure. Hold on, I'm not ready for Dizzy yet. Hold up. Hold up. God, that went hard. Good God, do you have to breathe, Dizzy? Hold on, I want, now that I pause it, I want to go back and uh, mention something real quick. I really appreciate this. Oh, come on, I went too far back. I really appreciate... Right here, this is a perfect example of it right here. I appreciate the stylized artist artist artistry artistry i appreciate the stylized artistry in the uh amv here but here's an issue that i have obviously hearing him say the words you can fill the blanks in what is the point of having the lyrics on the screen if they are going to be obstructed like this where you are missing whole words and like i said you can hear what he's saying not that big a deal really it's just something that, like, as a video editor, it's kind of, like, making me go, why? Why? For why? You know? Anyway, but that's not the... This this part here, where I was like, what is happening? Now, I'm not trying to, like, talk shit on the editor. This is... The, I can't make this. This is amazing. This looks awesome. But I can't read that. <laughs> it's been dark on this road. Yeah, and I heard it. I, heard, I know what he said. I could hear him. But shut up, solos. That's an inside joke. You gotta, anyway, whatever. It's like, that's not like, look, I don't know. That's just, just me. But I feel like this is a beautiful aesthetic. But what? don't put the lyrics on the screen if you can't really read them. That's what I, that's how I am taking this. Now, I can just go F off and say, well, let them do their thing. And, and who asked you? That's very true. Who asked me? That's not, you're not wrong. I love that right there. Uh, hold on, hold on. Look back. See the love all gone. I don't have a home. Only thing I hold is revenge. And then it rolls right into the next part, right? Mm, I love that because it cuts out underneath them too. It gives it like sort of like the suspended, 
almost like a fermata. If you guys know what a fermata is, um, a fermata is uh, it's a it's a musical notation in in written music, and what it means is you hold the note until the conductor says, "Okay, go." You hold it for as long as the conductor wants you to hold it. So the when you have it kind of cut out, it gives it sort of this suspended feel, almost like it's a fermata waiting for him to keep he keeps on going with his lines. And it's like almost like you're waiting for him to cue you into the song again. Does that make sense? It's a very nice choice here with the uh, with the with the mixing and the, the the mastering of what's the word I'm looking for? The production of the beat. Right here, right there. I don't, he, he's blocking all the words, you know? Anyway, I'm done bitching about that, but this is just the thing I just noticed. Anyway. Wait on my shoulders, the weight of my sins. Don't need you now, man, I needed you dead. It played back in my mind again and again and again and again. They don't make it to me. I love that. Okay. That is uh, text painting. That's text painting. Text painting is when, like, basically you are, um, you are, portraying the words through the way you're delivering it. That's the best way to put uh, describe what text painting is. So like um, again and again and again and again and the way it kind of like it's driving in the beat too. Um, another example of that would be um, Schwabity's, his verse in the Pokemon Trainer Cypher when he was like the protagonist from Sword and Shield. Round up the round up the round like a phalanx. You know what I mean? It hits. Every time he hits round, it's like hit. Round up the round up the round like a phalanx. Um, this again and again and again is more of a text painting example because it's like the word again. You're saying the word again, again and again and again. So it's a text painting type of deal. But it's just kind of like, I like that, like the aesthetic of that, the audio aesthetic of it, as it were. Wait, hold on. Now you a mark because the mark which you missed you would target to hit. Okay. That is freaking beautiful right there. Hold on. I love that. That's the part where the first time I heard it, I was like, oh my God, he's, did you have to breathe, bro? But I like this right here. Got you. Got you all in my lens. This the way that it ends. This the way that it is, man. It is what it is. Just like I love that so much. That's a dizzy thing right there for sure, man. That's the way that it is. Just the way that it is, man. It is what it is. Gotta get what you give. Now I'm just losing my grip. Slipping, falling deep inside of this. We should not like who gon' save me from this. But you can't save me from this. Let me with scars that I never forgive. Got me thinking about how lately I've been. Fable's doing the hook. You guys remember? Did you guys remember that Fable's doing the hook on this? Ah, uh, so good. So good. Yeah, Dizzy. Sorry, Dizzy was mesmerizing me. He'll do that. He'll do that to me sometimes. So powerful. Uh, I forgot Mix was on this song. <laughs> I forgot Mix was on this song. Hold up. Let's been to the bottom and made my way back on the defensive since i can remember now we're young and finally gonna get to attack can't keep holding my tongue anymore i'm tired i can't run anymore but i don't need nobody i can't trust nobody i don't give a fuck anymore heart's getting cold i had a family but it's different now i'm just mad it took so long for me to figure out i was drowning in the deep end nobody want to save me i feel the darkness and i'ma let it out uh. yeah when I close my eyes, I see suffering Thought I knew my true purpose, it doesn't fit Falling deeper and deeper into the abyss of my past The further I run from it Should I just leave right now at enough of this? Uh, Been living this life of monotony uh, Been a minute since life had a sudden shift uh, I feeling I'm Dude, I am digging this cadence he's in, man I'm digging this so much I also want to go ahead and um, go back a real quick Since I have a pause again um, That body line, he said but I, I don't need no body I feel like that's a double in like a, when he first wakes up after the accident. Spoiler alert if you haven't watched Shippuden, but it's been out long enough. Um, 
I feel like when he wakes up and he's like all he's still being like re- like put back together basically with the Hashirama cells, the magical you know freaking Deus Ex Machina of the Naruto world. But um, basically, he like he rolls out of bed and can't move because his body's incomplete. Like he he's he's still broken. But like I don't need no body. And like I, I there's that the part where I believe he has to go out and he he goes to find Kakashi and Rin because he still hasn't been flipped yet. And so white Zetsu puts the body around him so he can actually have the strength to leave. And that's when that was obviously all part of the plan. So he could see what he needed to see and then flip. And that whole, I don't need no body kind of remind me of that. If that's not where he was going, it uh, reminded me of it. So it's effective anyway. I don't need nobody. I can't trust nobody. I don't give a fuck anymore. Heart's getting cold. I had a family, but it's different now. Yeah. I'm just mad it took so long for me to figure out. Yeah. I was drowning in the deep end. Nobody want to save me. I feel the darkness and I'm going to let it out. Yeah. When I close my eyes, I see suffering. Thought I knew my true purpose. It doesn't fit. Falling deeper and deeper into the abyss of my past. The further I run from it. Should I just leave right now? I had enough of this. I've been living this life of monotony. Been a minute since life had a sudden shift. Got this feeling I'm going insane. I've been searching. I don't know my place. God, I'm losing control of myself. The more that I walk on this path of destruction, I promise this will be the death of me. Listen, cause lately. Ooh, I love the way he was starting to crack. I love the way he was starting to crack at the end there. And like, oh man, this song is. Mm-mm. I love this. And I'm going to say, I've been searching, I don't know my place. God, I'm losing control of myself. The more that I walk on this path of destruction, I promise this will be the death of me. Listen, cause lately. This will be the death of me. Listen. I love the way he's breaking there. I love that. I promise this will be the death of me. Listen, cause lately. Uh, the fable comes in. <laughs> like I love Fable's voice. I'm a simp. Get over yourself. Um, here's a thought I had that I, I I'm glad that it ended as I had the thought because I didn't want to pause the song again. But um, I love this because Fable and Dizzy have worked together a lot, and they go together well. They really do. But they have different styles. Now their styles sort of kind of um, there's a bit of like the center of a Venn diagram with their styles. You've got Dizzy on one side. You've got Fable on the other side, and there is a, a, quite a bit of the merge of the center of the Venn diagram, where they kind of come together a little bit, and they kind of overlap, but they have still different styles. But what I love is that you've got Dizzy featuring on a Fable song, and Dizzy's style blends in with the Fable style. It's still very much a Fable style song, with Dizzy's kind of color on it. And then you flip it on its head, and you take a Dizzy song, and you put a Fable hook on it. Now you have a very, very fable style hook. This is a fable style hook, but it's kind of got a sort of that sort of audio aesthetic of a dizzy song. Still, it still sounds like a dizzy song with the fable style hook. Does that make sense? So they they do a great job of accentuating each other's style, but keeping it as like this is definitely a fable song, and over here this is definitely a dizzy song. I love that. I really love that. Ah, anyway, but I will say, I mean, I'm talking a lot about dizzy. Dizzy's awesome. Hashtag DDD, Dizzy Don't Disappoint. Um, I'm a huge Fable simp. We know that. Mix showed out on this shit, man. Mix Williams. Bro, I was digging the cadence he was hitting on that verse. Digging it. That This, look, I have to I have to sit on it a little bit. This might be my favorite Mix Williams feature. This might be my favorite Mix Williams feature right here. And the way he was breaking at the end, like cracking. I almost said breaking wrong. Did you guys catch that? I bet you didn't. I, the way he was cracking at the end. First of all, I love this tone here. I love it so much, but let me, uh, it's right over right around here. I promise this will be the death of me, listen, cause lately. I promise this will be the death of me, listen, cause, uh. Yes. God, I love that. 
did I turn the background music on after the song, or has it been on the whole time? Because it has been on the whole time. I'm, I'm going to go bury myself in a hole. I'm pretty sure I just did it without thinking. Oh, this, but this song was freaking awesome. This song was awesome. Hashtag Dizzy Don't Disappoint. Fable always kills it. But Mix Williams, man, honestly, I think the problem is because I, I, I expect such greatness from every time I hear Dizzy and Fable. And Mix Williams has always been awesome. He always has it's always been awesome. But I think because I go in here going, oh yeah, it's Fable's gonna show out. Oh yeah, it's a Dizzy track. He's gonna go, he's gonna show out. For me, because of that, Mix Williams is the takeaway here. I feel like Mix Williams takes this takes a spotlight for me. I love his verse on this. I freaking love it. Anyway, um, that's all I gotta say about that. This track is dope. 